Good morning, everybody. Um, I am very excited because I'm finally getting a chance to record um, and show you guys how to work my wheel and pedal pattern. Um, <laughs> you can see I've made a bunch of these. These have been a lot of fun to just try different colors. Um, so this is what it looks like as one color. This is a really pretty, I think this is warm teal. Um, it's Aunt Lydia's 100% cotton, um, number three weight, but I just really, like the one color really sort of highlights the, the laciness and the scallops and the concentric circles. Um, somebody pointed out that it looks sort of fractal-like and I like that. Okay, so that was the single color. And then you can change it and add as many colors as you like, like there's just, you can keep it simple, do one color, you can add, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. Um, this one's four colors. Six, seven, this one's also seven colors. Um, if you wanna do a lot of wild colors, the only thing, um, the only color note I would mention is um, one, two, and three, rounds one, two, and three can all be different colors, but it looks a little cleaner if um, rounds four and five, six and seven, and eight and nine are the same color. And the reason for that is round four is a round of chains that you then come back in round five and work double crochets into. And the same for six and seven. So round six, let me check my notes. Yeah, round six is uh, seven chains and then you work eight double crochets into it and the same thing for eight and nine you work chains single crochet to tack it down so you're basically making loops of chains Ooh, sorry that you then come back and work double crochets into and then the final round round 10 is this really pretty shell scallop shell edging which okay um anything else Oh, so you can make a coaster or a doily. So if you want to make a doi uh, coaster, like a drink coaster, I would use um, like an absorbent cotton um, fiber. Um, this is Patton's Hempster in Sunshine. But to make the coaster, you just stop at round five. But then if you want to go ahead and make a full doily, you'll go, you'll follow the pattern out to round 10. So I am going to clear this all the way so that we can get started. Okay, so I'm gonna pop back in for just a second. I was almost done recording and I realized that I didn't say anything about showing you how to do color changes at the end. So once we go through the pattern, and here's the completed doily that we'll make today. <laughs> That's like going sipping forward in time but um so this is the one color that we're gonna make and then um, I'll show you how to do color changes and we'll do um, a four color change doily at the end so stick with me till the end and I'll show you how to do that because um, a friend asked about how I change colors so I'm gonna show you how to do that um, okay now on to the materials what you'll need to get started is um, a number three weight, um, and I would suggest um, cotton, 100% cotton. But um, so you can use Aunt Lydia's Fashion Three, and this is bridal white, but um, it's really good. I like it. It's ubiquitous. You can find it pretty much everywhere. It's um, really easy to get, and it comes in some pretty colors. But the colors are kind of limited. I think there's like maybe a dozen colors of um, the size three weight. And then this is um, Curio number three. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. It comes in a wider range of colors and I got this from Knit Picks, which I'm not associated with any companies that make any sort of crochet supplies, but this color, this really nice warm gold is called turmeric. Turmeric, I'm never really sure how to say that but it's just really pretty and warm and gold. And anyway, then you'll need some scissors. A number three, oop, go in focus, there we go. Number three crochet hook. And this is my favorite kind, 
It's a Tulip Edamo hook. And they're just really comfortable and they don't hurt my hands. And you'll need a darning needle. Nothing wants to go into focus this morning. Darning needle and scissors. In round one, you start with a magic circle. And then you're going to chain two and do 12 half double crochets into the magic circle. So start with that. Make your magic circle. And tighten it down. Keep. This thinner lace thread is a little wiggly, and the trickiest part is just getting it started. But so then we're going to chain two and work twelve half double crochets into. Into the magic circle. That's so one, two, three, and sometimes I find it easier if I put a stitch marker in that very first stitch so that way when I come back around I know exactly what stitch to work into where my first half double crochet was. And you need to also make sure that you work over this tail here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If it starts getting a little unwieldy, you can scooch the stitches together. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, ten, and twelve. So then you're just going to well, double check to make sure that you have the right, num right number of stitches. You count backwards from the loop on your hook. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, did I get 13? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, I did. So take one out. I'm glad I checked. Okay, so then you're going to pull your magic circle closed and slip stitch into the top or into both loops of the half double crochet so there are no um you crochet into both loops of each stitch there's no front or back loop only in this pattern so then you're going to slip stitch into the top of that first half double crochet here so where our stitch marker where we placed our stitch marker we're going to insert the hook under both loops of that first half double crochet and just slip stitch through that and the loop that was on your hook. Okay, on to round two. So, round two, you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then the repeat is one double crochet followed by two chains. And you're going to work the double crochets into each of the stitches. And this chain five at the beginning counts as the first three crochet, or the first three chains count as a double crochet, and then the two, two more are the two that connect across the top of the double crochets. And I'll show you. So you're going to yarn over and then go through both loops of that next stitch and work a double crochet. And then you're going to chain two, and that's all there is to the repeat. So you yarn over, go into both loops of the next stitch, work your double crochet, and then chain two. 
So I'm going to stop here and I will meet you when we get to the end. Okay, so we're back to the end of round two. And we're going to do the final repeat. So you're going to yarn over and then go into this last stitch. And then do your chain two. And then what you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch into one, two, three, this third chain right here. Because remember your, your first three chains at the beginning count as a double crochet and then the two chains here are for this space in between the tops of the DCs. So just work into so tiny. Oh, both loops of that third chain at the beginning and just slip stitch through like that. And that is round two. So for round three, the first thing you want to do is you're going to slip stitch into this first open chain space here. Right there in the middle. Okay, so you go into that chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then slip stitch through that loop that was on your hook, and that moves you directly over this space because that's where we're going to be working our double crochets for round three. So then you're going to start one, two, three, three chains, and that counts as your first double crochet, and then you're going to do two more double crochets worked into this space. And then a chain one. <clears throat> so the repeat is three double crochets all into the same chain space. Oops, sorry, I need to remember to stay on camera. And then followed by a chain one. So I'll show you the repeat here. You do one, two, three double crochets. There's your third double crochet. And then you're going to chain one. And that's all it is to this repeat. All right, so now we're back to the last repeat of round three. And we're going to do our last three double crochets. And there's your third one. And then chain one. And you're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three at the beginning. So just go through both loops of that third chain and slip stitch through and that is the end of round three. Okay, now on to round four. It's getting exciting. You've got your wheel, and now we're going to start on what I think of as kind of the pedal part where it gets bigger, looks kind of fractal. Okay, so for round five, you're going to chain five. One, two, three four and five and then you're going to skip these next two double crochets here and then you're going to work a single crochet into the space between this cluster of three and this cluster of three you see that space in between going to single crochet here just like that so you're making like a loop of chains right there and then the repeat is just five chains two three four five and then you're going to skip the next three double crochets and then single crochet into the chain space between and then one, two, three, four, five. Skip three DCs and then single crochet into that, that chain space. Okay, so it's very simple. So I'm going to finish this round and I will meet you back at the other end. We are back at the end of round four. 
and I'll show you how to do the last repeat. So we did our single crochet, and then there's five more. Three, four, five chains. And then you're going to do your final single crochet in that space. It's going to be right before the chain three, where you started, you see? And just slip stitch, uh, single crochet, sorry, into that. And that is the end of round four. On to round five. So if you just want a coaster, you'll stop at the end of this round and cut your yarn and do an invisible join to finish up the round. And then you'll have a nice little coaster like, like this. Rounds one through five for the coaster. Okay. So for round five, you're going to start off. by slip stitching into this first five chain space. Slip stitch over once just to get yourself into that chain space. Okay, so then you're gonna chain three, two, three, and that counts as your first double crochet. And then you're gonna do five more double crochets into this, the same chain space. Two, Three, oops, three, I think I did that wrong. If you're working a stitch and it seems a little weird, it's just so undo it, start over. So that's three, four, five. I feel like it's better to just go ahead and correct a mistake when you notice it instead of just muscling through and then maybe finding out later. Which, I mean, there's a lot of fudging that you can do with crochet. It's pretty forgiving for the most part, so yeah, I say that depends on the situation. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Um, so the repeat for round five is going to be six double crochets in each one of these open chain spaces with no chains or anything between. So we'll do the repeat. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And that's all there is to the repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, double crochets into this, just all onto that chain from round, round four. And you're going to do that all the way around, and I will meet you back at the other end. All right, so here we are at the end of round five, and we've just got the one last repeat to do. So it's six double crochets into that chain space. Three, four, five, and six. And if I am going too fast or too slow, just let me know in the comments and I will try, <laughs> I'll try to do better. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to slip stitch into the third chain. So one, two, three, that chain three at the beginning. Just go right into both loops. That's that third chain. There we go. And then slip stitch. And that is the end of round five. So for round six, you're going to start with um, seven chains. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven and then you're going to skip the next five double crochets one two three four five and you're going to put a single crochet right here into this this space between the groups of dc's so just go through that space pull up a loop and do your single crochet very easy so you're making this chain so that you can come back in the next round and work double crochets into it. So the repeat is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chains. 
and then you're going to skip the next group of six DCs, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then put a single crochet into that space between the groups of six double crochets. Very simple. Okay, so I am going to finish off this round and I will meet you back at the end. All right, so we're back at the end of round six and I've done my last seven chains. And to finish off round six, you're just gonna single crochet into the next space and right after the last six double crochets. So you single crochet here. And then to get ready for the next round, you're gonna slip stitch into this chain space that you made here at the beginning. Slip stitch in there. And you are all ready to start the next round. And on to round seven. So for round seven, you're gonna chain three. One, two, three. And then you're gonna work seven double crochets into this first chain space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that chain three at the beginning counts as a double crochet. So you'll have eight total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the repeat for round seven is just eight double crochets in each one of these chain spaces. So no chains in between or anything, just go right into one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, and eight. And that's all that is for the repeat for round seven. It's just eight double crochets worked into each one of these, these loops that you made. So I'm going to finish this round and I will meet you back at the other end. All right, we are back around at the end of round seven and I've got my last two double crochets to do. Double crochet, double crochet. And then to end round seven, all you're going to do is slip stitch in to the top of this chain three at the beginning, right? One, two, three. Just into both loops of that third chain at the start. And slip stitch to close up the round. And that ends round seven. So for round eight, you're going to chain four, skip the next three double crochets here, and then you're going to put a single crochet in the center of this group of DCs. You see? So you're going to be dividing this long group of eight double crochets in right in the middle. So we'll start with four, two, three, four chains. And your first DC is that chain three here, you see? So one, two, three, four. And you're going to put a single crochet, I hope you can see this, right in the center, right here. So it makes a shorter little loop, like that. And then you're going to chain four again, one, two, three, four. And then your next single crochet is going to go behind the next four double crochets here just into that space. So I'll show you one more time. So one, two, three, four. And then you're going to put a single crochet 
in between, like right in the center of this group of four. So count one, two, three, four double crochets, and then your single crochet goes right in between the fourth and the fifth, like that. Can you see? One, two, three, four, and then a single crochet in between in this space here. Okay, so let's finish this round and meet back at the end. Okay, so we are at the end of round eight. So we're gonna do our last four chains, three and four. And your final single crochet is gonna go into this space. So there'll be four more double crochets and then this space. It's sort of teardrop shaped. And then you'll just work your last single crochet into that space. And then to get ready for the next round, you're gonna slip stitch into this first four chain space. Just like that. All right, that is the end of round eight. And here we are at the beginning of round nine. It's very exciting. We are almost, almost finished. Okay, so for round nine, you're gonna start with chain three. One, two, three. And then you're gonna work three double crochets into this chain four space right here. So one, two, And then, so your chain three at the beginning counts as a double crochet, so you're going to have four, four double crochets into each of these chain spaces, and that's all there is to the repeat. Excuse me, and then you do a chain one. Okay, so the repeat is four double crochets and a chain one, so one, two, three, and four. Ah, the yarn's getting a little tingly. Straighten that out. I believe that was four. One, two, three, four, yes. And then a chain one, and that's all you do. So let's work four double crochets and a chain one into each one of these little four chain loops all the way around, and I will meet you back at this side. And here we are at the end of round nine. And I've just got two, the last two double crochets to work. So go ahead and do those. One, two. And to finish off round nine, you're just gonna slip stitch into the third chain, that third chain at the top. One, two, three, which you did at the very beginning. Just work into both of those loops of that third chain and then just slip stitch to close. And that is the end of round nine. Oh, exciting. This is the last round, so we'll be done with our doily. And this is the round with the really pretty shell scallop border around the edge. So let's, let's get started with that. Okay, so to do the shells around the edge, you're going to skip this next double crochet and then work five double crochets into the space here. You see? So for, there's clusters of four double crochets all the way around, right? So your chain three counts as a double crochet, so you have two DCs here, two DCs here, and you're gonna work five double crochets directly into the center between those two two pairs of DCs. So you're going to yarn over and work a DC. And you don't start with any chains at the beginning. You just start right with the double crochets. And I'll show you why in just a second. So there's two, three, four, your fifth double crochet all into that same space and then you're going to single crochet right here and that makes your first little shell 
Ta da! So I'll do it one more time so you can see. So you're going to yarn over and then you're going to put work. You're going to work five DCs into the center, like in between. So you'll skip two DCs and in between yarn over and then work five little crochets. This part is very fun. I feel like I am a little overexcited and I could be doing a much better job of verbally explaining. So that was three, four, and five, but you can see what I'm doing. You can see despite my excitement and then a single crochet and then you'll skip the next two double crochets and work five DCs to that same space. So you're not working into a stitch, you're working into a space. Which actually now that I think about it, a lot of this pattern is working into a space, which is nice. So it's just easier to work into a space than it is to work into a stitch. Maybe that's why I make so many of these. One, two, three, four. We've got our five DCs all worked into that same space, and then we're going to single crochet here. <laughs> I like this part, I really do. Okay, so let's do our shells all the way around, and then I will meet you back at this side. Yee! Okay, so we are at the end of round 10 here, and I've done the last five double crochets in between the middle. Oop, I moved my fingers so you can see in between the DCs there. And then the only thing that's left is the last single crochet, and you're going to put that right here into this space to close up the round. And that is it for round 10. So now that we've done all of our rounds, we're just going to cut the yarn, snip, and pull the tail out. And we're going to use our darning needle to do an invisible join. And I wanted to show you because since it's a shell border, um, it's done, well, it's the same thing, just a little differently. So this is your last single crochet and just pull it kind of down at an angle so that the stitches lay flat like they would if it was any other round. And you're going to go up through both loops so you make sure you can see. So you're going to skip over the stitch here and then go into the next one like this, go under both loops sort of adjust the stitches and then we're going to go down through the middle of that last last loop last stitch that you made just right let's see make sure you can see right here so go down through there and just adjust your stitches and see now it looks just like every other round. You can't tell where it ended. It looks just nice and neat all the way around. Okay, so <laughs> this is the exciting bit where you get to play with colors. Um, I like this part. It's my my favorite, working in new colors, and I'm babbling here. Okay, so we're at the end of round three here, and you've got your last three double crochets last three double crochets in your chain one. So you're going to pull in a loop of the new color just like um, you would if you were continuing with this the same color. So I'll show you. So you just go into both loops of that third chain here at the beginning like you normally would. Um, and you're just going to pull a loop of the new color right through just like if you were slip stitching in with the same color to start the next round. And then round four starts with chain five, two, three, four, and five. 
and then you're going to skip the next two double crochets and then single crochet into that space there, right? One, two, three, four, five. And then single crochet into that space there between your double crochets. I love this part. One, two, three, four, five. And single crochet here. And you can see, like, I just, I already love this. The white and that dusty lavender. Like, oh, so pretty. And here is the finished purple doily. Didn't it come out pretty? I just, I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. The dark with this pop of this vibrant purple. Oh, I just love it. Um, there's so many different things that you can do with this pattern. Like I just, I just grabbed like all my different samples that I made and put them together. And it's just, it's so much like color therapy. Like I just really love this. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. And um, if you post pictures of the doilies or the coasters that you make, like, please just tag me. Like you have no idea. Like that totally makes my day to see like something that I made, like, encouraging creativity in other people and playing with colors and all that stuff like that totally just like totally makes my day okay i'm gonna stop talking now you guys have a good day all right